I thought I'd do a quick FPV comparison of the Dart XL and the Rebel GT. Uh, both of them are on iNav, so I'll take them for a quick fly, a bit of wind picking up, see how they handle, how they launch, what sort of speed they fly at, and how they feel on FPV. Alright, we'll start off with the Dart XL. Here's the Rebel there, here's the Dart in my hand. Goggles down, off flying, had a fair bit of rain so a lot of water around. So it's flying nice and stable, nice and smooth. Put it into air mode maybe and see how well stabilised it is. Feels very, very nice like that. As I said there is a bit of rain, uh, water around and wind around. Okay, now we're cruising on about 7 amps or so. Feels like about half throttle. It's a speed 50 kilometres an hour. Very well behaved, very smooth. Very smooth. It is a stable plat air, uh, platform with the swept forward wings and lots of wing area. And the little wing fences or whatever they are that um, organise the flow over the wing. Do a faster run coming back and really wants to pitch up when you throttle up. 65, 70 kilometers an hour. It's about the maximum, 70, 80 roughly. Sucking through the juice pretty quickly now. Biggest thing I notice about it is it feels very stable. Very nice. Even with a little bit of side wind there. Bit of water down there. 50 kilometers an hour. Under 7 amps. Nice FPV platform, I have to say. Very nice. Great camera carrying platform, this one. So smooth. Well, I'll bring it in and uh, check out the Talon GT by comparison. Cutting the throttle there, I'll glide in. Very nice. So that was pleasant. Kind of a bit hard to launch, I, I guess. Takes a bit of a throw and decent throttle up and you've got to be careful on the elevator. But let's swap over to the Rebel GT now. Okay, Rebel GT. Uh, all quiet and ready to go. Goggles down, all right. Did take a bit of time setting this one up. Uh, I think the control horns were too low. Uh, I think the control horns were too short on all the control surfaces. So when you switched into manual mode and it was using 100% throws, it was just way too uh, reactive. So I've put longer control horns on. And it's calmed down nicely, all going well. 
So the speed is around, where are we? Speed, there we go, 50-ish 50, 50 kilometres an hour. Being bumped around a lot more by the wind. But it seems to be flying easier. Uh, current, less current, look at that, four or five amps. So there's the big difference. Looks like the Talon GT is a lot more efficient <coughs> and flies faster, but it's less naturally stable. That's interesting. I do like the feel of the, the uh, Talon GT a lot, a lot better in the air. I think it's uh, got a lot more control. Not as smooth for filming, but uh, probably better flying experience. Yeah, it's interesting. I thought the Dart would be more uh, efficient, really, more sort of slower and, and floatier, but uh, not the case. Yeah, interesting, I'm flying around easily on under six amps, ramp it up, it's a lot faster, look we're up at about 120 kilometres an hour easily there, twenty three amps max, yeah it's just I much prefer flying the Talon, that's interesting. I really didn't think that. I haven't flown them side by side like this before. Wind's picking up, but the Talon, although it gets bumped around a bit, it really doesn't, uh, doesn't worry it too much. Let's try some angle mode and see how it does the stabilisation. Trying to turn, it really resists turning in angle mode, but <laughs> that's cool. So it's still getting bumped a bit. Altitude hold. Altitude hold. Got a th I've got it uh, linked up with. Uh, Heading hold as well, which gives you the 3D cruise mode. Holds the heading and the altitude for a nice straight FPV flight. So, all right, comparison sum up. Uh, I'd say if you're mainly concerned about uh, good smooth HD footage, then uh, the Dart XL is probably the better choice. Is a bit harder to launch. Uh, sucks through the juice quicker, but it is more stable. Very resistant to stalling too. If you want a you know faster, more agile sort of flying experience, go longer distances, longer flight times, then the then the Talon GT is the one to go for. Okay, I'll cut the motor, we'll glide it in from there. Whoa! That <laughs> glided a long way. So that was a good comparison, it really surprised me actually. Of the two planes, I, I much prefer the uh, Talon GT Rebel. Uh, it's more efficient, flies faster, not as stable easier to put your gear in. It is a bit tricky to set up for INAV because the control horns are a bit too short so I've put sort of big control horns on all the surfaces and that's made it a lot more adaptable. Um, I really like it now. The Dart XL, uh, I like it for its stability in the air, good for uh, HD recording but more difficult to launch, um, sucks through the juice a little bit quicker. Yeah, so that's interesting. I think the Talon is a, is a better design model. Uh, has better strengthening uh, so the nose isn't so prone to breaking off but uh, interesting I didn't realize that thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more of my videos